Hello everyone, my name is Oshini, the founder of Singa Hair, and today I will be speaking to you about our growth oils and masks. This is our prized product slash the reason we began Singa Hair. It is made up of very special ancient Ayurvedic herbs and plants that we used for a very long time in Sri Lanka as well as imported in Canada while we were living our lives here. It's what helped us grow our hair back into a, a, such a luscious and full state. And I realized it's all natural ingredients back in the day. And I began it with my family to provide more types of our herbal oils for everyone. So today I have provided in the video all of our oils and masks. And I will explain to you what they are, what's the difference what they do as well as maybe at the end how to oil the hair I'll use one of my old oil sessions as an example so before I get into the types of oils I would like to talk to you about the sizes and the different types of textures we have so in terms of sizes we have different types of sizes for our oils and our masks and this is for a very good reason as well. So our, our oils and our masks, there is no ingredient difference. The only difference is our candelilla wax and we whip it with the candelilla wax to create that creamy texture so it's much easier to apply when you go to apply it rather than heating up an oil and it's in its liquid state and it's a little messier and a little more difficult for those who have busy lives. So for our oils, they come in a 6 ounce as well as a 24 ounce and a 48 ounce. So our 24 ounce would last half a year and our 48 ounce is just two of these. So it lasts a full year or more times with consistent use. And our 6 ounce, we would say it lasts about a month with consistent use and sometimes more like it depends on the hair how much hair you have how much you apply but it's always good to apply to the scalp and hair as we advise we have a hundred and thirty gram as well as a three hundred and thirty gram so this is our whipped version so you can see for our growth oil we have a growth mask which is whipped for our Raja growth oil we have a Raja growth mask which is whipped and for our yellow vine, we have a yellow vine mask that is whipped as well. Now all of these oils are made with our Ayurvedic ancient mix, which has a lot of ingredients that I will name for you today. I'll try to get to most of them. And some of the ancient ingredients include banyan root, amla, false daisy, fenugreek seeds, gotukola root, uh, vetivera root, sometimes it's called vetiver, um, curry leaves, black sesame seeds, rosemary, lavender, and that always depends on your hair type. All the ingredients get heated with our oils at the beginning before it's even turned into these products for hours, the traditional way using our techniques from our ancestors. So some of our techniques include a wooden spoon and a copper bowl. The copper bowl is what we make our oils in and it is very important for our tradition to do this because it's what we have been doing for a very long time. So now I will talk to you about the types we have. And the types of oils we have all depends on your scalp type because as all of our oils do grow your hair with consistent use within three weeks, we want to ensure we also fix your scalp issues. So for example, if you have a dry or normal scalp, we recommend our growth oil because it has ingredients that are recommended for frizzy hair that can provide you with proper oils, more oils, compared to our Raja growth oil, which is for oily scalps. So we add ingredients such as green tea, matcha extract, rosemary, much more fenugreek, and a lot of more ingredients to ensure that we control the excess oil production while helping you grow your hair. 
And as for our yellow vine mask and our yellow vine growth oil, it is a very special one as it, it has our ancient ingredient, Venivelget. And the scientific name is quite long, so we don't use it. But the Singhala name is Venivelget. And if you search it up, you will find it. It is very rare because it is hard to find. So you have to go through very difficult terrains. It's always up in the high mountains. On top of that, it only grows on very specific areas. But Sri Lanka just happened to have so many. And uh, our families always use it. Uh, since I was born, when I was born, I was bathed in the Manimalgata waters, like most of our babies in Sri Lanka. This ensures you don't get any sickness as it is very antibacterial, which gets to our point, it is an antibacterial mask. So this antibacterial mask can fix many issues such as folliculitis, dandruff, and pedigo, and anything that is caused by a bacterial or fungus. So if you have rashes, ulcers, really bad dandruff, contact dermatitis, this can fix a lot of your issues and fix the actual physical symptoms that come with the hair loss. Now like I said, they do come in different types of sizes depending on the oil and the mask, but we do have an oil and a mask for every single type. You will notice our yellow vine oil is different from our other products. This is because of the Venuel Geta ingredient, which is very rare and it's hard to find, so we do have it in limited quantity compared to our other oils. Eventually, the 16-ounce bottle, as it is plastic, will be switched to our 16-ounce slash 330-gram glass bottle, which will be more eco-friendly. And we are doing our 100% eco-friendly packaging switch very soon, which we are so excited about. Now that I have explained what the oils are, what types we have, and what they are for, as well as the sizes, I will get to my oil session where I show you what I apply, how I apply it, and the results. Now before I get to that, I will show you the Raja Growth Mask sample which I have here. This is just an example of our sample container as we have do provide samples for all of our oils and our masks and they range from five to six dollars so you can get a two ounce container just to try it out it won't last you three weeks which you will be able to see results in three weeks but it will give you a, a it will give you an idea of what it does the results and the instant results we provide other than the growth now we will get to our oil session Hello everyone, it's time for our hair oil session. So this is where I teach you how I oil my hair and how the results look once I'm done. So I do use our yellow vine growth oil or mask just because I used to have contact dermatitis and I have been fixing it with our antibacterial serum as well as the yellow vine and with consistent use it just keeps everything away and my sulfate free shampoo that we have in the first thing I hair also helps a lot with keeping all the um, symptoms away so getting to the point what I like to do is first go to the scalp and then I go through it to my hair, get all the tangles out and make sure it's thoroughly in there. So today I will be using our yellow vine growth oil. So I will show you, I used to have and I'm still in the process, it's been a few years of growing back the hair with the oil. I used to have hair up to my shoulders about, I cut my hair a year ago and now it's already up to my bottom. So as you can see, I'm just running it through my scalp. I'm not massaging too much as I do have 
I would consider myself to have hair loss issues since I did have it before, so I'm not testing my luck. <laughs> so you just get it all through the hair. I make sure I get it in the bottom as well because that's where a lot of the symptoms for my contact dermatitis was before. Once I made sure I got it all through the scalp, I go to the hair. This is where you will require a little bit more oil. And you will notice to this session that you lose hair, but it's not hair that you lost from the session. It's just hair that's tangled up through the all your live hair that's just coming out because of the oil. Now as I do this, I would like to introduce our next vlog, which will be all based on reviews and results. So we will be speaking about whatever pictures. As we still began seeing her in August 2020, it's very difficult to get consistent pictures of our results with our customers, as most don't take pictures as well as they're not specifically using our products so we are looking for pictures with customers who are only using our product that way we can ensure that is the results from our products so if we we are thinking about beginning a program where we offer you perks and gifts in return for your consistent photos of the results we might post a blog or post something about that on our blog as we post this tomorrow yeah, for our next vlog, we will be speaking about the reviews, our customers, what they said, what we heard about around town from our family and friends. So I usually take 15 minutes for these sessions. They can range from 5 to 15, depending on how much hair you have and how much oil you're putting on, if you're thoroughly getting it through. I do like to make sure it's thoroughly in every single part of my scalp and hair. So, as you can see, I'm just running it through all the hair strands. My hair is very curly. I can brush it twice a day and it will still have more tangles. Just why I love using the oils. The oils kind of ensure that I don't get as much tangles as I usually get. So for people who aren't used to using this oil, especially with our yellow vine, I do recommend putting a towel on your shoulders, around your shoulders, before you do this session. As I have been oiling my hair for a very long time, I can work through it properly so it doesn't get on my clothes too much. gonna switch sides and make sure everything's all over the side as well. So I did heat up the oil beforehand. As this is more of a hot oil treatment. 
and you can do this every time you oil your hair you can heat up our oils to provide yourself with a hot oil treatment and if you don't know what that is it is when the oils are hot which ensures you open up your pores in your scalp and hair especially for people with low porosity it helps open up the hair follicles and the pores to get the oil thoroughly through the hair my family has been doing hot oil treatments my whole life So now I have gotten it mostly through my scalp and my hair. Just do a little check. And what I like to do is you can braid your hair. I usually just tie it in a bun, especially if I'm busy during the day and I have more work to do so I can just shower once the time is up. In a bowl like this. There you go. Now I have it all tight, and you can put a bonnet over your head, braid your hair, or just tie it up like this. Putting a bonnet over your head does ensure the oil stick more to your hair, and there is more moisture retention. As I am doing a quick tutorial today, I am probably just going to take a shower in a few hours so I can show you the results while there is still lighting. So my hair is all done drying. There's a little bit of spots that are still wet, mostly towards the ends. But as you can see, the hair on top is dry. and the shine with my curls popping so I just want to give a few tips when I do shower with me after I do my oil sessions I make sure I shampoo twice and I use my ancestor shampoo or our gold bar shampoo and sometimes when I'm doing the oiling sessions and I'm washing after, I do use both. So I like to shampoo and rinse twice to, in order to get my oil out. Our family used to really stress on us when we do the oil sessions to make sure we get all the oil out. This is to ensure you get the full package and the full results because if you have oil residue in your hair, it defeats the purpose of healthy hair. And as you can see from before till now, my hair is much healthier looking, flowing more. All the tangles are gone. So there's like very few, I haven't brushed it yet. After the shower, it's still wet. And it's always important to wait till your hair is dry to brush your hair after a shower because that is the number one cause of hair loss. If you brush your hair right after the shower, your hair is already very sensitive and it's wet and they easily come off. So it is not good to do that. So that will be it for our today's session. I did show you guys the oils. I hope that was informative. And if there's any more questions, you can leave a comment down below or message us on our social media or our website chat or our email. There's plenty of options. And as for the next video, we will be doing the reviews and what our customers think of our products and the experiences everyone has had so far. So I am excited for that. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Have a nice day.